Okay, judges, we're going to do our reviews. For, so these are images that are sitting on a, on a borderline between award levels, so a 79 going to an 80, 84 going to 85, um, and so forth. Um, so if we would like to have our first image, please. This is currently a 79. Is it a 79 or does it go up to a silver award at 80? Thank you, judges. This print remains at 79. Next print, please. This image is currently at 79. Does it stay at 79 or does it go up to a silver at 80? This image remains at 79. Next print, please. This image is currently at 79. Does it stay at 79 or does it go up to an 80? This print is now a silver award at 80. Congratulations to the photographer. <laughs> Next print, please. <laughs> this print is currently at 79. Does it remain at 79 or does it go up to 80? Um, so, if it stays at 79, you say no. If it's going up to an 80, you say yes. So, is this a silver award? Yes. This image remains at 79. Next print, please. And that is the end of our reviews. Thank you, judges. You're welcome to take a seat in the audience. Uh, and we'll reshuffle a few things and then reset for our next category, uh, which is the birth section of documentary.
and we're back. Woohoo! So we're up to the uh, birth section of documentary, and um, we're going to start with our panel again. And we have James Simmons in number one, Victoria Baramecki in number two. I know I'm never going to get it right, Victoria. I'm so sorry. Simone Henkel in number three, we have Christopher Ian in number four, and Adam Horrigan in number five. So welcome, welcome. If we're all happy and we're all settled, we will go to our first print, please. The Birth of Nile. This print has scored an 80 silver award. Well done to the photographer. We have a quick comment from um, Christopher. You're on the, the average. Thanks. If we look at the classics in photography, it's those lines that drag you in right down to the physician in the left-hand corner. His finger and pen will make sure that Nile gets front and centre. So basically every object is heading towards that child and it's a beautifully done photo. Thank you very much. Next print, please. No caption. This print has scored 77. Can I have a quick co comment from Victoria on 78? This is solid professional practice. Um, I think recomposing the image slightly would have um, helped possibly bring that up into silver. Thank you very much. Next print, please. A mother reaches down and gently pulls her newborn into the world in a maternal assisted caesarean section. This print has scored an 80 silver award. Let's grab a quick comment from James. Yeah, sure. Yeah, g really interesting shot. Um, you know, lines that lead into it, and just that you know the the champ championing of the the newborn is fabulous. Uh, I just feel some of the post production might be a little heavy handed, um, but other than that, it's great. Thank you very much. Next print, please. At 16 days overdue and after an extremely long labour, a beautiful girl makes her entry into the world. This print has scored by majority an 80 silver award. Congratulations to the photographer. 
Next print. Oh, no. Comment, 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 comment. Thank you, Adam. Comment. I think at first glance, it, 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 it is the moment and it is that, that nice moment. What I enjoyed about it and what brought me up into silver is the, the detail around the baby as well. You can see the goosebumps. You can see all the imperfections and see the little things. It's, it's quite uh, detailed. There's all those little imperfections around there that really sort of brought me up and, and just, I think, added to what is, you know, could be considered normally to be a professional practice. It just brought me up for that little bit. Lovely, thank you. Next print, please. No caption. This printer scored an average 81 silver award. <laughs> Have a quick comment from uh, Simone. Uh, the story in this I found um, really gorgeous that the, the husband looks like he's had the hard time. Um, <laughs> and yet the middle image actually reminds you that no, he hasn't had the hard time at all. So well done to the photographer. <laughs> Lovely bit of storytelling. Thank you, judges. Next print, please. As the midwife inspected the placenta, I noticed how she had placed it down for final inspection. This, to me, epitomises the beginning of life and the family tree. This print has scored an 83. Silver, yeah, and uh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Christopher Ian, you're on 88. You are definitely um, entitled to challenge, so take it away. Um, the caption pushed me one vote extra, but basically we can all see there's a, a found object in a medical facility that has a spiritualism attached. So I just think it's amazing. You've got almost your depth of focus perfectly covered for what is a macro subject, and in black and white where detail is, para is tantamount, You've got your blacks and your whites just, I think, appropriate because we don't want pure black and white. This is an operating theatre. This is an object that's been removed from the body. And what spiritualism. I just think it's marvellous. Uh, Victoria, you're on 78. I think this is beautifully captured and presented to us uh, compositionally. It's beautiful. Um, it is something that, as a professional birth photographer, we aim to get. We aim to get the placenta shot every shoot, and um, for that reason, um, I did put it in the professional practice range. And I also felt like it was just a bit too muddy, and there is so much detail there. It's really well captured, but I feel like the post processing was didn't quite have the contrast and depth that I would have enjoyed more. Hmm. Adam, you're you're right up there on uh, 87. Yeah, I, and I actually, the, the, the caption only reinforced what I saw straight away. I actually think the tonally to me, it, 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 it says it, everything I want to see is bright enough and it has the contrast, those limbs of the tree yeah, that's being sort of represented in, in the metaphor, I guess, are all clearly defined and you know, it's placed so perfectly in what I guess is just a happenstance kind of way that I think it, it, it raises itself not only above that, what we see normally in professional practice but I, I think the the actual working to you know that 
you know, all I see are those tree limbs as soon as I look, and that's that's what I'm drawn to, and I think it's been beautifully handled, and I, I easily think it sills and it sits in the silver distinction range. Uh, so, Christopher, you're on uh, A8, your writer reply? Uh, the one thing that uh, strikes me about this is that there's someone trying to elevate um, the medical to another level. If you look at the rebate of this photo, it is actually a warm-toned art paper that this person's endeavoured to tell a story with. They're not looking for a degree of reality. They want a storytelling episode to take place, hence the circle, hence the tonality range. It's not going to go pure black to pure white, but I just think it's a marvellous piece of storytelling, right down to little squiggles. With it, it, that's the way it happened, fantastic, but it was seen by a photographer, and that's more important to me. Thank you, Christopher. Judges, if you could please uh, consider the debate and rescore. It's currently on 83, and Christopher's aiming for a silver distinction. And we have an 85 silver distinction. Congratulations to the photographer. Next print, please. The Journey of Twin Boys. Thank you, judges. This print has scored by majority a 79. And we have a challenge from Adam, who is on 84. Uh, thanks, Adam. In, in these multiple image kind of categories, we often say that the, you know, it's only as strong as its weakest image. But I think it's what it is adds to its strength here is what I get, especially in the top line, you see all these arms, there's this crisscross lines everywhere that I see. And to me, that it kind of enhanced that feeling of there was this, you know, there's this mayhem. There's this, and you see that through the emotion in the faces. You see that through all these arms crossing over. And as we come through the image and the story is told, it becomes more and more calm until we're sort of back at this bottom moment. And I think it, you know, the way that the photographer has chosen to tell this story graphically as well as the choice of photos really adds to this story, really you know, gets me in, into that moment and, you know, expresses a, a story just a little bit better, I think, than just pro professional practice. I think what they've done to present this photo enhances it and brings it up definitely into a, a silver range. Okay, James, not so sure on 78? Oh, no, I'm hearing you. It's, um, you I, I agree with everything that you say, Adam, totally. Um, I guess I was probably maybe a little harsh on all ears and prepared to come up with you. All right, judges, uh, write a reply, please. Sounds good. <laughs> I think, we, I think, yeah, definitely enter the silver. I've given it 84, but definitely a solid silver, I think, is, is worthy. I, I, I think you've convinced them. Judges, please rescore. And the sprint is now an 82, solid silver award. Thank you, judges. Well done to the photographer. Next print, please. Gentle Caesarean Birth. This print has scored by majority an 80. Okay. Uh, um, but we're going to, we had one of our judges print, print, 
pressing the wrong button, so that's okay, which is lovely, which means we now get to have a, a, a little bit more of a talk about this. Now, because you did press that button uh, accidentally, you get to start. So we're going to take your, uh, your challenge and uh, go for it. Yeah, you took... Well, we, we needed to just comment like about apologies. it anyway. I was kind of um, just pressing the buttons by accident and I missed the wrong one. It was meant to be an 83 and I gave it a 53. <laughs> so I'm not Red Simons. I actually really like the image. It's kind of got like, like a, um, you know, like a, wor like a war-based, you know, um, kind of very graphic and, and um, startling, you know, war image um, uh, undertone in it. So I think it's fantastic, 83. Okay, no worries. Would anyone else like to comment before we rescore? Oh, yeah, Adam, yeah, sure. Only the, the, the general comment I was going to make. I the the only in, I I re really enjoy the, the the calmness in amongst the chaos. I'm not sure about the scissors on the right hand side. The only thing that kind of draw me away, and it was probably what stopped me from going higher. I'm not going to say that that's because it may destroy the composition, but it's it's the only comment that I, I'm a little distracted by it. So if the author may have a look at that, it, you know, that's what would stop me from going up into sort of distinction. Thanks, Adam. Judges, please rescore. And every point does count. It's now an 82 silver award. Well done to the photographer. That's all right, James. We're, we're all only human. Thank you for acknowledging it. And uh, it's all good in the end. Next print, please. New parents enjoy the calm of the, the afterbirth and admire their new son. Thank you, judges. Wi-Fi is slow. All right, this print has scored an 82, however. We have a challenge from James, who is on 88. So you will have right of reply this time. So there we go. Take it away. Yeah, no mistakes this time. This is um, absolutely, you know, phenomenally done. It's like so serene and calm after what you can only imagine as being, you know, a fair bit of madness and um, craziness. So to be able to, to see a moment like this and simplify it um, and make it so serene is, is, I think it's just fantastic. I mean, the way that it's been printed as well, just, you know, there's elements that you can't take out, right, in this, in this category. And, and the, the way that they've printed it just keeps bringing you back to that, that beautiful, precious moment of, you know, that, and that stillness. I think, you know, you c it just looks so quiet and peaceful. Um, I think it's a, a great take on that. And with that aerial point of view, it's almost kind of insinuating the whole baby in basket thing, but it's, you know, baby in bathtub with <laughs> probably <laughs> a slightly pinkish coloured water if it was a colour image. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think it's just fantastic the way that it's composed, um, lit, uh, well done. Okay, Adam, not so sure on 78? Well, I, I'm, I'm more sure than what I was before. The more I look at it, the more I do agree. It, it is, the, the viewpoint is, is good, and I'm, I'm quite happy to come up into a decent silver. What I want to ask is the superior communication uh, element of what brings it up into a, a silver distinction. The light is beautiful on, on, on the face of the baby, which is where I want to look, but it doesn't go past there for me at the moment, but I'm, I'm absolutely listening for a story to, to get me there. Uh, yeah, if you'd like to... S yeah, Simone, yep. Um, I set this at the very high end of the professional practice for a reason that I thought that this is the kind of image that we should be producing. There's beautiful light really simple, gorgeous communication um, and a lovely composition. But what would have taken up into the next level would have been more connection between the parents and not, not one head way above the other where he's sort of coming into the scene. Um, that next frame perhaps would have been the one that I would have said, yes, that's a uh, silver. Um, Victoria, you're really close to silver distinction. What are you thinking? This is exceptional visual communication for me. The, the, the the ambient light has been handled so well. This is low light and the grain factor is just, it's so well handled. The perspective for me adds to the story and you, I, I think about these parents who are in the shot. This is as close to their perspective as you can get, um, but it also involves them. And she isn't 
you know, she's not engaged with the baby because she's just pushed it out. She is uh, in that moment of relief and release and, you know, I, I feel a lot from this image and I'm going to come up. All right. Uh, James, you're right to reply. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure how much more connected you could get. Like, if they were any closer, they'd probably be, like, have those mergers with their face and stuff. You know, they're, for me, they're pretty close. <laughs> and, you know, the story's abundantly clear, so there's, there's no mistaking the communication. But I think one of the, the hardest things that a photographer has to do in a circumstance like this is simplify the scene and isolate the elements that really tell the, the key story. And there is no confusion here. That it, like, they are, you know, one and solely and truly that central anchor point um, and which is so, so hard to do in, in these busy environments. So to have that foresight to compose it that way and capture that beautiful stillness and quiet moment, I think, is, you know, exceptional. So silver distinction. All right, judges, if you could please rescore. This project has scored 85, silver distinction. Well done, team. Fantastic, lively debate. Might have to keep it a little bit shorter next time, but that's all right. I, I, I do enjoy the enthusiasm, and I think everyone that has entered enjoys it as well. So thank you very much. Next print, please. The birth of Danielle at Nepean Private Hospital on July the 26th, 2016. Thank you, judges. This print has scored 77. Uh, quick comment. Thank you, Adam. There are a range of professionally captured you know, images within here. I find the presentation a little confusing. The flow through the images isn't as, as, as cohesive as I'd like. The, the, the photo on the bottom middle drags me away from the photo on the top, which is kind of the, you know, it's one of the moments and I'm distracted by what's underneath it. So just maybe work on the presentation or edit a little a bit more that may push this over to the edge. Thank you. Next print, please. No caption. Oh. No caption. Thank you, judges. <laughs> this print has scored 83 silver award. <laughs> Fantastic. And Christopher Ian, short comment, please. You're on the average. Um, the bonding of the mother and the mother, I guess, is extraordinary because at that range, you're just doing it almost for the effect of feeling the person's soul. You can't focus on them, you're that close. But she's actually willing herself through the process and her mum's participating in this. It's beautiful. Thank you very much. Next print, please. A father is born.
Thank you, judges. This one has scored 78. Uh, can we have a quick comment, please, from um, Victoria? Yeah, gorgeous moment captured. Um, the post-processing is, is quite dramatic, though. Thanks. Overcooked. Thank you, judges. Next print, please. No caption. Thank you, judges. This print has scored an average silver award. Well done to the photographer. A uh, quick comment from Adam, you're on the average. Yeah, I think it successfully communicates the, the, the story that is going through and, and above the professional handling on this, there's evidence of sort of the different l different lights that are going through here, the hint at the bottom uh, of the orange light is what leads me through that frame and, and believes how it's been presented in the tonal range we've got. So well done to the photographer. Thank you, Adam. Next print, please. The birth of Oliver. has scored 80. Silver award. Well done to the photographer. Uh, Simone, you're on the average almost 81. Yeah, I think the way the um, action in the shot is framed so perfectly with the father's hands and the mum's arm and the two supporting um, people helping her birth on the other side uh, that makes it really successful. Really fast, Adam. There's just a little bit of heaviness in the top left corner that maybe could be just handled a touch better, which would help, it, I think, bring it up even further. Lovely. Thank you, judges. Next print, please. With every push, the baby's head emerges some more. Thank you, judges. This print has scored by majority 79. We have a quick comment, please. Uh, Mr. Christopher Ian, you are on 79. Uh, I feel that the last frame is not as sharp as the other two. It's such a disappointment coming up to it because I'm seeing a, a degree of ingenuity that I love and the progression's beautiful, but um, whether it's camera shake or something, the last one just doesn't have the crispness of the other two. Thank you, judges. Uh, we will go to our next print and we're just going to go to a blank screen because that is the end of the birth section. However, we need to just remain here because we have one review. Could we please have our review?
print. This is currently 79. Is this a silver award at 80? I know you just saw it a moment ago, but in case you've had a change of heart. After consideration, we now have a silver award at 80. There you go. Congratulations to the photographer. Well done. Okay, so that is actually the end of this section uh, for birth. So we're now moving on to documentary open. Um, however, I'm going to do a, 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 a panel fresh. So if everyone wouldn't mind just joining the audience for one moment, and then I'll announce who we'll have back in in one moment. Thank you. <laughs> Field. These men are an inspirational to the are inspiration are an inspiration to the youth of today. Anzac Day, Adelaide, April twenty fifth, twenty seventeen.
This printer scored 80. Silver award. Well done to the photographer. And uh, yeah, Adam, if you'd like to do a quick comment. Yeah, there's a great connection and a, a mirroring through of the hands throughout the image. You get that. That's all I think what gives it that special source to get it over to 80. So it's been well seen. I'm a bit. Uh, I, I I have a thing as for being newspaper about a bit wordy in the caption. I d sometimes it's best not to tell us what to feel, but tell us what we're seeing. I think so. Something to keep in mind. Thank you very much. Very 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 valuable feedback. Next print, please. The 2015 earthquakes that devastated parts of Nepal still affect locals. The Kadigs lost their home and slaughterhouse, and while they rebuild, they are forced to skirt government regulations and process livestock on the cobblestone streets of Patan, Kathmandu. Thank you, judges. This print has scored an 81, a silver award. And we have a challenge from Adam we're going to take on 87. Um, and those that wish can talk about this image as well, because there's a few of you that might like to do that. So uh, go, Adam. The colour palette of this image, I think, is, is to me the, the central the central thing that drives the narrative of, of this image and every part of the, that colour palette I believe is, is so carefully placed within a, a, a situation where nothing can be placed and that, that shock of the red in amongst the, the sort of um, the, the drabness and the flatness and the, the smoke I think is what, you know, it, it is designed to shock and I think it's, but it's not, you know, it's designed to make you look at, at, at every part of this image and it goes around in a circle. I, I think, and you know, the fact we're told in the caption that this is something that's illegal, and yet there's this blaséness about it. Where we're able to to get to this, this is every day. This is, you know, the expression sort of leads me there, and and everywhere I want to look, um, adds to that sort of storyline that's being told. That this is a horrible situation, and I believe that that's the superior communication that we're seeing within this image uh, that ele elevates just above a, a standard street scene that may tell what it m might be a common story is the way we're being led through this frame. Okay. Uh, Dr. Michael Coyne, not so sure on 75. Okay. This is a moment where if you took one step to the left, it would have been an amazing picture. For the simple reason is on the right-hand side, there's a pole out of focus. It's total distraction. Can't see what the man's actually doing, so you don't know what the action is, so you don't have a point of action there. Um, it's a horrific situation but we're not being invited into it because not, we're not seeing the moment and we have a distraction of that pole on the right-hand side. So all that was was a, s a step to the left. All of a sudden, you've got a focus point because you know what the man's doing and you still capture that the, the barrow full of stuff, of bodies, you still see it, you're actually engaged in it, you don't have the distraction of that out of focus pole. Very good, a very interesting moment, but you're not capturing the actual decisive moment. Uh, yeah, Mr. Christopher Ian. And just add to what Michael's saying, that step would actually give you a perfect profile of that, a hunk of very red meat beside his face. So it is just a step, and you would actually get a better background behind your main subject. Okay, uh, write a reply. Thanks, Adam. I think it's unwise to assume what would happen if we take a step to the left because we, we're judging the photo as we we see it. Uh, I, I actually don't mind the pole because it's, it shows me something that, you know, there's a barrier to what we're seeing here. It's not something that, you know, maybe it's a fence. There's something in the way. There's something between us and, and you do want to be in this scene anyway. I, to me, it, it, it doesn't distract because what I'm led through, th I'm still led through the image and shown what I need to be shown. And if we do take that step to the left, then maybe we, we lose that redness and we gain something else. I think for what we see in front of us here, the communication is superior it, 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 it 
it tells the story and it really, through its tonality and through what we see, it elevates it to that superior level of communication. So I, I would urge a silver distinction at the very least a high silver. Thank you, Adam. Uh, judges, you may now rescore. It's currently on 81. Uh, Adam's asking for uh, 85 or above. This print is now an 82 silver award. Thank you, judges. Every point does count. Next print, please. Inspired by Melbourne. This print has scored 77. Quick comment from Michael, yeah? Yeah? Sorry, but yeah. look, there was one little thing that could improve that picture. That just, if you look with a man standing with a pole, the painting behind him is distracting. So if it didn't have that distraction there, you actually look to his face, but you don't see his whole face because of the distraction there. So that's the sort of thing that you need to look at. Not only look at the foreground, but you need to look at the background as well. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Next print, please. An elderly woman walks the streets of Tashanga village, Bhutan, lighting fires to keep the spirits away, a ritual she performs each morning. This print has scored by majority in 80, a silver award. <laughs> and if we're all happy with that, yep. Uh, can I grab a quick comment from um, James? Yeah, I've bought into this. You know, it's just a, such a, a ghostly, haunting image. Um, I think, you know, probably what could have taken it further is, you know, getting some sort of um, more distinguishing, you know, action from the character there. But overall, the feel and the mood is just so beautiful and, and ghostly. It's just... Haunting, yeah. Thank you very much. Next print, please. Urella Art, Circle Artists at Work. Urella Art, Circle Artists at Work. This print has scored 75. And if I could grab a quick comment from um, Adam. Look, it's professionally captured and there's a nice, you know, maybe a repetition story. I just don't feel there's enough of a connection or enough clues within the to really s tell us that full story of what's going on. But, um, you know, professionally captured. Thank you very much. Next print, please. <coughs> Worship is attend Friday prayer at the Inskul Mosque in Jakarta, Indonesia. First opened by the public in, in, in by Indonesia's first president, Saki Sak Sakano, in, on the 22nd of February, 1978. Majid Iskwal was built to commemorate Indonesian independence and is the largest mosque in Southeast Asia, accommodating 120,000 people.
Thank you, judges. The sprinter scored 83, a very solid silver award. Congratulations to the photographer. Uh, James, you got a quick comment about this one? Yeah, very strong graphics in this. Um, you know, getting access to that would have been quite a task and uh, it's been printed beautifully, so well done. Thank you very much. Next print, please. An inconsolable 10-year-old girl sits clutching a Polaroid of her pet rabbit who has suddenly passed away. Consumed by her grief, she's unaware her distressed sister is also being comforted by her father. Thank you, judges. This print has scored 85, a very solid silver distinction. Congratulations to the photographer. Could I grab a, a quick comment from Mr. Christopher Ian? Um, these are real traumatic moments to the people involved compared to photographing protesters who are being struck by police. These are people who you probably know because you're in that environment of being there at that moment, just somehow in their backyard. So these working under those circumstances and distancing yourself maybe as a parent, but certainly as a concerned adult while a child's upset, is remarkable that you can pr give us this sort of technical quality. Thank you very much. Uh, and on that note, we're going to have a quick judge change. Thank you, Mr. Christopher Ian. Uh, we're going to change you over to David Dare Parker. Please join us again. Okay, if we're all settled, we'll go to our next print, please. In Gale Force Winds, the crew of Simply Fun hike out hard on the rail, trying to keep the boat balanced whilst getting soaked as waves crash over the, bo the bow and the navigator checks the distance to go. This one has scored 76. Could I get a uh, quick comment actually from David? Thank you. It's a solid professionally taken photograph. Um, not enough for arm the image to take it anywhere else, but um, still well executed. Thank you very much. Next print, please. Getting the most out of your stay. The lonely institutionalized death of Ted Woods, my father. He would have appreciated the irony of the poster behind. 92 years, living life to the full. Whether it be on the D-Day beaches to building Melbourne's great arts centre, this gentle giant. Okay, 
in writing. We have an 88. However, we have two judges in the gold. Adam, if you have you, oh, yep, okay. Adam was the first to put his hand up. Uh, Adam's going to take the challenge. He's currently sitting on 92, but you ha do have a, a lot of support. Uh, so, yep, take it away, Adam. From back here, there's an immediate impact that you realise what you're looking at straight away and technically it is beautifully presented uh, an amazing color palette that reflects what you see in there and as you go up to it and read the little details and even without listening to the caption i mean this is the seminal capture of the end of someone's life it's peaceful yet it's disturbing because of the the sort of um the horrendous irony of what's on the wall behind it and it's so it's presented almost without comment you know as as a statement of the end of this person's life it's bland it's dull it's at this exact moment in time and there's there's such a sense of irony about such a, a, a still and powerful moment initially that i think the author is incredibly brave to present something as simple yet so powerful in its in its presentation the lines all lead you where you want to go all of the other elements they give you a, an indication of where you are, of, of what it was like, and every part of this image uh, adds to the simplicity that, that makes this such a powerful yet simple moment, and I, I really believe that it, it deserves a gold. Thank you, Adam. Uh, Dr. Michael Coyne, you're on 82. Yeah, look, I think it's a very s it is a very strong image. I agree. Um, uh, look, unfortunately... I've seen this image many, many times. Not this particular photograph, but I've seen the same thing done many, many times. So it's not like you're showing me something new. You're showing me something that's professionally worked very well done. Um, and I think it's, 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 it's very well captured, it's very well shot, but I don't think it's anything new that I haven't seen many times of people. I've actually, I've done it myself, the same picture of my mother when she died. So I've seen it lots of times. So it's, if, to give gold, I'd like to see something new, something that gives me a new experience. Now, I'm, I've given it silver, but I'm happy to go to silver distinction. But for me, gold is give me something new. Okay. Um, James, you're very close on 89. Just quickly, yeah. No, I'm going to go to gold. Um, I thought the element on the left was distracting, but a closer inspection, it's um, yeah, th where they dispense the sharps. So it's the, the pointy end of life. So all three elements on the wall is what's new, I, th I think, Michael. I think the, the irony in such a delicate situation is the new element that they've brought to it. Um, so, yeah, for that reason, I'll be heading into gold. All right. Uh, looks like we're all happy to have Adam's writer reply. What I see is the moment in front of me, and I thank you, James, for even, you know, the, the sharps on the wall, even that... that that even adds, it, adds to it for me is that it, it, it's a comment on you know on this particular person that we see it's it's their last moment this is how the all the photographer chose to remember them and at this particular moment in time and i think it's it's brave it's simple and it's it's quite shocking in the in the irony of what they've chosen to include in this photo uh as a, a remembrance of this person you know it could quite easily have been just a capture of what we see all the time and the bravery and the and and the presentation all add to that feeling that you know really takes this to gold for me. Thank you. I'd I'd like to see right. it there. Judges, if you could please rescore. Thank you, judges. We now have a ninety gold award. Congratulations to the photographer, a very, very powerful image. Next print, please. Sophia with Nola under a photograph of her great-grandmother, Hawthorne, 2017.
Thank you, judges. This print has scored 80, a silver award. Well done, the photographer. Uh, David, you're on the average. Would like to make a quick comment? Just a solid poign poignant moment of, um, of family, I guess. And you know, you're seeing three generations there, and that always moves me. So that pushes up the right buttons to you know, give it an award. Thank you, judges. Next print, please. It was meant to be an image of juxtaposition. Racing horses, walking man. It became so much more when the cyclist appeared from out of nowhere. Southern Cross Station, TAB. Thank you, judges. This print has scored 77. Uh, can we have a very brief comment from Simone? Uh, I really appreciate the moment that the photographer managed to capture um, with this guy photobombing the image that he was trying to create, uh, she or she was trying to create. Um, but I feel like to have made it really, really sing to get into the Merit Award, it would have had to have all the lines straight, the, the image, the the guy on the bike, sharper perhaps, and, and for everything to really sing. Thank you, judges. Next print, please. Born and bred farm boy, Will, helping his dad capture each sheep. Thank you, judges. This is a print has scored an 83, a solid silver award. Well done. Uh, Adam, can I grab a quick comment while we do a judge change? So thank you, James and Victoria, if you wouldn't mind jumping on. Thank you very much. Yeah, really, really well seen and well captured and beautifully handled printer i think it, it's, it's almost difficult to find the moment when you get in there it's it's quite amazing the the contrast so very very solid silver and glad to see it there thank you very much And can we go to our next print, please? The caption for this one is Nonna. Thank you, judges. This print has scored 77. And if I have a quick comment from Simone. I think this has been beautifully shot. The lighting's lovely. The composition's quite nice in each image. Uh, but the story just didn't wasn't strong enough. Um, I wanted to know more about this lady and her life. Thank you very much. Next print, please. A head-on collision with an oncoming canoe amid bad weather conditions has caused a competing six-man outrigger canoe to capsize during the Sydney Harbour International Outrigger Challenge race, February 2017. The at-fault outrigger canoe team continues to the race finish.
Thank you, judges. This print has scored by majority a 79. And we have a challenge from Adam who was on 85. Thanks, Adam. There's chaos out there. We can all see it. And I think what the, the juxtaposition in both the way that the palette is used throughout the photo, those bright oranges and, you know, and, and to the point of even you know, the composition of the, the bottom leading line. This could have been shot in any direction. Probably won't assume, but uh, you know, shot off a moving platform as well. So to for everything to line up beautifully and for the palette to, to reflect this chaos and it points you to the, 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 the end story. You know, there's, there's someone going off un uncaring as to uh, what they've caused behind them and every part of the composition and the palette, I, I believe it's a bit better than just standard professional practice. I think we can get this up into a silver. Uh, Dr. Michael Coyne, not so sure on 77. Quick comment. Yes, look, I think this is a very competent professional picture, but I'd like to see the moment of action. I'd like to see what's going on. Um, what's happening, this is after the event. So, uh, you know, it's, it's nicely composed, very professionally composed, very professionally done, but we want to see the moment. This is about decisive. Did it tip over? Were they flicked in the air? Were they shoved through the water? Did they go under? Nothing, none of that's telling me. They're just floating alongside. So it's actually not telling me the story because maybe that boat it has another problem and it's just being pushed along there. So it's actually not telling a story, which in documentary you must relate to the viewer. And I don't think it does. Okay. Uh, Simone, you're uh, in the Silver Range 81. Yeah, interestingly, I agree with both Adam and Michael. I think the uh, composition uh, means that the actual story in the image leaps out. The um, supporting uh, sailboats on in the background, two on each side. Everything's very serene and symmetrical in the background and then there's this chaos in the foreground, but the story isn't there. So I thought it, it sits in a low silver, but not necessarily going up any higher than that. Thank you very much. Right of reply, please, Adam. The, the very first thing that that line leads me to is the guy under the water, which to me says that there's still a story to be told. The splashes around him and, you know, there's... there. You know, yes, it's not that, that moment of collision, but this is the aftermath and this is the story we're telling and, and there's obviously a lot of drama still to come and still happening in this image and, and it's the blasé-ness as you get back to the, the crew going off and then as I said to the serene scene, I think it does tell the story and I definitely think it's more than just high professional practice. Thank you judges, if you could please consider the debate and rescore, it's currently a majority 79. We now have an 81 silver award. Well done to the photographer. <laughs> Next print, please. An old bicycle wheel keeps these children amused. Oben Ogyeng Sholing Bhutan. Thank you, judges. This print has scored a 78. And if we're all happy with that, we'll just have a quick comment um, from Victoria. Um, beautifully seen moment, and um, I, I like the engagement. It's, it's a fun image. I'm not sure what could have elevated it, though, perhaps the, the printing. Thank you very much. We'll go to our next... Uh, sorry? Yeah. We'll go to our next print, please. Welcome home, Mama. I missed you. A little girl is reunited with her mother after three months at sea. Thank you, judges. This print has scored an average of 80, a silver award. 
Well done to the photographer. And if I could just grab a quick comment from David. Um, I have seen this image a lot, but it's a nice capture anyway. Obviously, a bit of patience. Hopefully, it wasn't set up. Um, so I'm assuming it is a moment. A little bit distracting in the background, which took out a, a, you know, a couple of points from me. But no, it's a solid, it's a solid, lovely moment. Thank you very much. Next print, please. The Kumari Aboriginal Dance Troupe at the Adelaide Fringe opening parade on North Terrace in February 2017. Kumari showcase, showcase Digi, dance, art and culture and boasts some of Australia's international touring Aboriginal performers. Kumari has brought culture, tradition and language back into the lives of Abri Aboriginal youth throughout Australia. This print has scored 75. A uh, quick comment from Michael, yep. Look, can I just make a suggestion here? When you're making a photograph, you need a point of interest to look at. And nothing, you, you don't, when you look at the picture, you look all over the picture. You're not looking at a particular point. You must have something that brings the viewer in that you can look at. And then if you see the dancer on the left-hand side of the photograph, then there's a large gap which goes way back to somebody in the background. So you're not actually bringing the viewer into the situation, which you must always do when you're doing this type of photography. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Next print, please. Dylan, who lives with dystonic quadriplegic cerebral palsy and spasticity, shorter term being cerebral palsy, seemingly defies gra gravity in his weekly swimming lesson in warm water hydrotherapy pool. The warm water helps with his condition by helping his body relax, a welcome relief from his daily life. Thank you, judges. This has scored an 84, a very solid silver award. Congratulations to the photographer. <laughs> and if we can grab a quick comment, uh, David, you're right on the average. That's just a beautiful, poignant image. I mean, beautifully captured, lovely idea. Um, doesn't get much more moving than that, so well deserved of an award. Thank you, judges. Next print, please. <laughs> Reflections, texture, and color collide with the classic and contemporary concert venue, Hamer Hall. This print has scored an average of 77. Uh, are you ch is that a challenge? Yep, okay, so we have a challenge from Adam on 80 82. What I'm rewarding here is, is not just the patience that obviously came from this, but the, the different differing textures and the different elements. This, this, this required forethought and you know, a, a good eye to see this and, what, and we've been rewarded with the right lighting conditions in both uh, what we see and even a difference in the figure is what, what really got me over the line is that we have one side of this figure on the bottom and seemingly, you know, even though you can see the hints of it in the bottom picture, it's seemingly a different person, a different bag, the different um, outlook. And, that, you know, to me it mirrors what we see, the hard and the, the soft, and we see the hard and the soft in the figure as well. And I think it's, it's worthy, you know, it, it's got elements of it that bring it up into that low silver range. It's a little bit more nuanced than just professional practice. Okay. Um... Yeah, Simone, that would be great. Thank you. I think that I, I love this as a graphic. I think it's a very beautiful shot. And if it was a commercial shot, 
uh, for perhaps that bag or something, I would be right with you. But what I'm not seeing is any story about this woman whatsoever. If there was some relationship between her and that building evident, then yes, this would be amazing. Um, and while all the elements are gorgeous, it's really beautiful professional practice, I want to learn about the human condition in documentary photography. Thank you. Uh, for all hope we have a writer reply. Thank you, Adam. Yeah, I guess I, uh, what I see is the professional and, and the casual, you know, it's the soft and the hard. It, it, it is that, that contrast that you not only see in the elements, but you see in the figure as well. And, you know, you could, you could say that you could be patient and wait for any figure here, but I think that the fact that we've got, you know, the photographer's waited to get that difference in the, you know, the, the, the figure, and we have seemingly two things that are different here, that mar marriages it up to the background. And I think that's that little bit of nuance that I'm looking for for a low silver. Okay, judges, if you could please rescore. This print remains at 77, but thank you for the debate. Next print, please. Paddleboarders return to shore after an, an, an early morning lesson on the calm waters of Boston Bay. Thank you, judges. This print has scored 79. And can we have a quick comment, please? Yep, thank you, Michael. Um, look, the concept is there, but the problem is the people are not big enough in the frame. So if the photographer got down a little bit lower and got them closer to whatever that contraption is in the background, they would have been stronger in the image. It would have made it a much stronger image. There, there's no connection between. There's too much space and they're too small. So you have to think of, you know, always have to think as your background as well as your foreground and connect what's going on. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll have a quick judge change. Thank you very much, David. If I could just get James to jump back on, that would be lovely. And if we could please go to the next image. Northeast Arnhem Land Indigenous Dance Troupe. Duji Mala interpret I'm Singing in the Rain to traditional Aboriginal dance as part of their show at the Perth Fringe Festival. Thank you, judges. This one has scored 83, a solid silver award. Well done to the photographer. Uh, James, quick comment, you're on the average. Yeah, very interesting graphic, uh, but also a very interesting story um, combining two quite different cultures. Wonderful, thank you. Short, sharp and succinct. Next print, please. Smoking Shisha Pipe, Kota Tui, Jakarta, Jakarta Old Town, Indonesia. The area gained importance during the 17th to 19th century when it was established as the de facto capital of the Dutch East Indies. Kota Tua is a reminder of Old Batavia, the first walled settlement of the Dutch in Jakarta. This print scored 77. Uh, can we have a quick comment, 
Um, from Simone, do you close the average? Uh, the image, I probably could have figured out without the caption. I felt the caption was a little bit long. But the image itself, I think, is, is you know, professional practice. Um, but to take it up a bit further, um, you know, watch the distraction of the lights and things in the background and isolate your subject. Thank you very much. Next print, please. Urala Art, Circle Artists at Work. Thank you, judges. The sprint has scored 76. And a quick comment from, yeah, Adam, sure. Um, a, a professionally captioned moment, though, I'm a, a, a little worried by the composition hard over to the left. There's not much room where they're looking. I'm just lacking a bit of context for the story. Wonderful feedback. Thank you very much. Next print, please. Keith was in the end stages of dementia, immobile and mostly bedridden. His days were mainly spent asleep and unaware of his surroundings. When resting after lunch, one of the family dogs joined him on the bed. Keith has since died. Thank you, judges. The sprint has scored 78. And we'll just grab a quick comment. Yeah, Michael, thank you. Look, the story should be in the picture, not in the caption. And the story was in the caption, not in the picture there. It's a dog sitting on the end of the bed. It doesn't, have, it doesn't tell me anything else. Um, what, what it only tells me is that there's a caption there, which is totally way out there somewhere else. The picture is supposed to speak to the audience. I don't think it does. Thank you, Michael. Next print, please. A lady is going into what be could be her residence in one of the structures in the historic Diocletian Palace in Split. One wonders how she has made the inside a family home. This print has scored 76. Uh, can I grab a comment? Um, yeah, Adam, sure. There's certainly a lot of detail throughout the environment here, but there's not much pushing that story ahead. It, it feels a bit static, and I, I want a bit of a, a, I want a bit of movement or a bit of activeness within the photo to sort of push that narrative forward. Thank you very much. Next print, please. Nor aborized on the edge of the Dead Sea in Jordan and looking at the, pre at the occupied Palestinian territories. Nor wanted to visit Jerusalem in occupied Palestine, but concerned about being detained by Israeli border securities due to his Arab heritage, so he settles for seeing Palestine from a distance. Thank you, judges. This print has scored 74. Quick comment from Victoria. Um, perhaps some more impact um, and narrative to this would have helped it, but it's um, too much wording in the, in the um, briefing. Thank you. Next print, please.
Bill the Bastard. The Chestnut Gilding carries five men to safety while under fire on the front line at battle for Romani. One on each stirrup, two on the back, and Major Michael Shannonhan. Thank you, judges. This print has scored 74. Uh, quick comment. Yes, Adam? I want to believe the story more, but the, the expressions give it away for me, unfortunately. There's smiles on the faces of, the, of some of the... That, you know, it doesn't match the drama that, I, that I'd expect to see within the image. So maybe you, know, you can't help what you, you document, but that, that's what brings it down, unfortunately. Thank you very much. Next print, please. She recited a love poem in her native Hungarian tongue to her husband who had be become, who became overcome with emotion. She's living with dementia. He is living with the long goodbye. Some things will never be forgotten. Thank you, judges. This print has scored 78. Uh, quick comment from Simone. Thank you. Uh, this is one of the examples where the caption really had to support the image. And while it's an extraordinary family moment for the family, anyone outside the family won't read the photo with, without the caption. Um, so I think that's a disappointing um, why it didn't get up into the next level. Thank you. Next print, please. Dr. Peter Tingate steps out into the oppressive heat and stench of the slums in District 275 San Nicolas, the Philippines, where 20,932 people, according to the 2010 census, live basically in just two streets, squatting in homes built from discarded materials scavenged from the nearby docks. Thank you, judges. This print has scored 76. Uh, quick comment from James. Yeah, sure. Tricky lighting circumstance. Um, you know, the character walking away obviously doesn't um, you know, indicate a huge amount of storytelling, um, but also the, the blacks in this print are a little clogged as well, so some attention to some technical technicalities could improve it. Thank you very much. Can I say two words, please? Yes. Sorry. Thank you. In a photograph, show me. Don't tell me. Thank you, Michael. Next print, please. No caption. Thank you, judges. This print has scored 77. And if we're all happy, we will have a quick comment um, from Adam. Perfect. Thanks, Adam. Again, a, a professionally captured uh, image of, of the scene as we see it, but no narrative past that. It just feels the, the little static to bring it up into silver. So, But you know, well captured what was seen. Thank you very much. We'll go to our next print, please. Curtis and Carol's photographer's flash illuminates the couple while celebrating their wedding surrounded by friends at the Black Rock Desert. Thank you. 
Thank you, judges. This print has scored 76. Can I have a quick comment from James? Sure. Uh, I think the, um, the, the um, post-production with the colour, the fill light, it's kind of made it a little bit too hyper for it to, you know, kind of have that nice um, appeal to it. Uh, also, it's a bit of a voyeuristic point of view, you know, long lens kind of looking in on the action rather than being involved. So. Cool. But solid, solid work. Looks like a really interesting wedding. Thank you very much. Next print, please. The Yasan Gula Mental Health Foundation in Bakasai, Indonesia, houses around 300 inmates suffering from a variety of psychological disorders. Until recently, of the more difficult patients were restrained with chains, a now illegal practice known as pasang. Visits by, changed by trained psychiatrists have helped improve conditions at this facility. Thank you, judges. This print has scored 79. Can we have, uh, you'd like to make a comment or would you like to challenge? Awesome, fantastic. Thank you, James. We have a challenge on 85. Fantastic, take it away. Uh, first and foremost, like this is a actually, despite the content, it's a really beautiful print. So technically it's there for me. Uh, but what is really, really powerful and gives me a, a good gut feeling about it is it's super graphic, but it's also, you know, it just shows how caged in and, and poorly treated, you know, some of these people are. So the communication's there. Uh, and then when you work around the room and you look at the different characters, um, it kind of, you know, alludes to all these different stories um, that th th these people have and, you know, kind of th the situation that they're in. Like that barrier that, you know, it cages us out almost, you know, for me at first wasn't, wasn't a great one because, you know, you want to be in there. But, you know, that separation... Um, kind of makes it quite profound that you know how locked down they are and how ill treated they are. So it, it resonated with me. Thanks, James. Uh, Dr. Michael Coyne, you'd like to contribute on 77? Yes, I've done this sort of thing many times. And what I'm finding in this picture is the background is there, but there's no foreground in the sense that there's no one moment that I can look at. There's nothing that I can see that makes me focus on anything. It's like everybody's got not connected to the camera in any way and I can't find any connection there. So the background is there, but I want something within that that connects me to the picture. I mean, it's a terrible, tragic scene, but where's the connection to me, the viewer? Mm. Uh, Victoria, you're in support on 82. Yes, I find the strong contrast processing and the composition matches the narrative, uh, the drama in the consciousness of these people, and, and that disconnect... I'm I'm comfortable with that from a storytelling point of view um, because I don't want to be involved, um, but I really appreciate the opportunity to view this, and I think it's award worthy. Fantastic, James. You'll write a reply. Yeah, I think the disconnection is actually the the root of this story. Um, you know, these are really dis disenfranchised people, and um, they are they're segmented into these little strips in the composition, which kind of makes you look at each se each section and each character in each section and see them as, as a d disconnected people. So for me, the, the disconnect works, I guess. Thank you. Judges, if you could please consider the debate and rescore. It's currently on 79 and James is on 85. And you've all moved and we now have a solid silver at 81. Congratulations to the photographer. All righty, we're going to do a double judge change. So thank you, Adam. You've been on for quite some time. And thank you, Simone. So have you. And can we please get Mr. Christopher Ian and Mr. David Dare Parker back on our panel? Thank you very much. We will go to our next print, please. An 80-year-old woman...
suffering severe dementia for the last eight years and now unable to walk, now lives in her nursing home bed in Bethania, Brisbane, while her only grandson still makes his weekly visit to sit by her side. Thank you, judges. This print has scored 80, a silver award. Well done to the photographer. Very close scoring ranges. David, would you like to make a quick uh, comment? You're right on the average. I just love the juxtaposition of obviously a relative there sleeping and spending time with his grandmother, I guess, or you know, just it's a story, it's told, it's a documentary image, it's telling me a story, it reveals something of the compassion between family members and you know, it's an award-winning image. Thank you very much. Next print, please. A long-awaited 2017 rematch between Danny Green and Anthony Mundine at the Adelaide Oval went down as one of the most controversial nights in Australian boxing. Green won the, br the brutal fight via majority decision and he looked su surprised. Fans were outraged. Suck on that mother. <coughs> Green shouted after the fight. This print has scored 82, a solid silver award. Well done to the photographer. <laughs> Quick comment, James? Yeah, sure. I, th I think the story is pretty much told in the bottom right hand image. Um, you know, for me, the bottom right is the strongest and could probably just honour that one, you know. Thank you very much. Next print, please. During the 2016 India Rod dog sled race held in Alaska, Teams of dogs are excited to start the 1,000 mile journey from Anchorage to Nome through some of the most gruelling and harshest con conditions in North America. They wear booties to protect their paws from the ice. This print has scored 76. A uh, quick comment from David. I just wanted to see more, to be honest. I mean, it's a, it's a strong picture, professionally captured. I like the expressions on the dog's face. Would it be nice if we could have had the, the sled driver in the image um, so we learn a little bit more about it? That's the point of documentary imagery. Fantastic. Well said. Thank you, David. Next print, please. Urella Art, Circle Artists at Work. This print has scored 77. And a quick comment uh, from Christopher. You're on the average. Thank you. Well, but my uh, it has a quirkiness, but I just fear that having a subject sitting on the very boundaries of it, that there's this huge space, and I know this has been said about other prints, but the in this print context, the space is jarring without any contextual relevance. Thank you very much. Next print, please. Paro is the gateway to the last Himalayan kingdom. This novice monk was meditating outside Paro, Dijon, Bhutan.
Thank you, judges. The sprint has scored by majority 80, a silver award. Well done to the photographer. Very close scoring ranges. Uh, Michael, quick comment. That's all right. It's a, <laughs> it's a um, nicely composed image. It's very simple but very graphic. It all, all the elements fit together and your eye goes straight to the monk, which is what it's about. Everything else is around him, surrounds him like a frame. It's beautifully, beautifully seen. Beautifully said. Thank you. Next print, please. The Australian Light Horse ceased to exist in 1942. Their spirit lives on with these ageing Light Horse reenactors who are currently receiving their final orders to ensure our past is not forgotten. Thank you, judges. This print has scored 79. Uh, quick comment. Yep, fantastic. Thank you, Mr. Christopher Ian. Quick comment. One of the attractions, nobody in the audience is probably seeing and this is just like a country football match with the coach's address, only half the participants are even paying attention. <laughs> Thanks. Next print, please. Annual reunions remain strong in culture as friends make their annual pilgrimage to summer holiday escapes to reunite as they have done for decades. Time seems endless as they are bound by the force that draws them from all over to recount their tales from the previous 12 months. This print has scored 75. Uh, quick comment from Victoria. I need more engagement uh, with the story to come up to an award level for this. It's beautifully printed and captures that. Professional practice. Thank you very much. Next print, please. Most Australians have a mobile phone and use them regularly to access social media. The downward gaze and posture of holding this device and people's expressions whilst interacting with their phones was captured over a period of several, several hours. Thank you, judges. This print has scored 77. Uh, and if we could have a quick comment from James or... Yeah. Sure, this is the new zombie apocalypse, you know, set and mood. Um, yeah, uh, I guess, uh, unfortunately, like, while it's a quite a strong message, um, just the lack of um, engagement in that voyeuristic sort of lens choice kind of just um, maybe simplifies it too much to continue that, that story and make it have an interesting mood. Thanks, James. Next print, please. You, you die poor. It is common for people to crowd around an argument in India. Most are only bystanders who will not get involved, and they are only there for the amusement factor. has scored 76 and if I could grab a quick comment yeah James thank you sure uh, I mean an argument in the street in India is <laughs> something you could probably almost count on um, I reckon if you know there was just a little bit more of a um, interesting uh, compositional um, you know use use of all those figures they just need to press in 
the wider angle and, and you know, use the people to shape the image. Um, would, it would just strike a little bit more interest and, and put the viewer there. Thank you very much. Next point, please. On the docks in Suva, Fiji, a worker snatches a well-earned secluded nap. Oh, hello. Let's start that again, shall we? Now we have a photograph. On the docks in Suva, Fiji, a worker snatches a well-earned secluded nap after helping to unload over 200 donated mattresses from the Golden Princess cruise ship. Thank you, judges. This print has scored an 82. And we have a challenge. All right. Thank you, James. You are on 88, Silver Distinction. Go for it. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, I've got a bit of support here. Yeah, look, everyone's obviously seen it as a classic image. And, you know, that, that use of humour, I think, is, is brilliant. You know, <laughs> this dude that's been lugging these mattresses around, all of a sudden, you know, gets sprung, napping on the job, in amongst all the mattresses they're about to topple. Uh, you know, interesting composition. I love just the feet hanging out, just being encompassed by that. You know, we've got repetition working there. I think it's a brilliant, brilliant documentary image that uses humour to its advantage. So, well seen. Uh, Dr. Michael Coyne, not so sure? On 80. Still silver, but yeah. Yeah, I think it's worth the silver, but I think it's... Y I think you're assuming what's going on outside. What I'm, what I'm taking on is what's happening in the image. Yes, it's well composed. Yes, it's a nice gimmicky image, and it's very funny, a, a humorous image. And I think I'm, I'm accepting that, but I don't accept it as, as a much higher level because I think it's at the level that we've made it now. Yeah. Yep, fantastic. Uh, you do have some support, Victoria. You're on 83, solid silver. Yeah, I enjoy the, the quirk here and the composition's really well done tells a great story, uh, it's engaging, it's got that impact. I'm, I'm very happy with the solid silver. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, can we have our writer reply? Thanks, James. Yeah, I just think the, the use of humour is just um, such a great homage to you know the, the great street photographers that have come before us. And um, yeah, I think the graphic is a winner and the humour just makes it work so well. So I think it's more than just your, your average silver. Fantastic. Judges, if you could please consider the debate. It's currently sitting at 82, and James is asking for a distinction. Thank you, judges. This print is now an 83. Every point counts. Still very solid silver. Thank you very much. Next print, please. Melbourne 2016. Thank you, judges. This print has scored an 81 silver award. Well done to the photographer. And can we grab a quick comment from Christopher? We haven't heard from you in a little while. Uh, quirky use of colour, actually, and beautifully seen with all the blacks. So you've got the Batman motif on the right, with which is obviously always going to be a black with a yellow um, outline. And you've seen it here. I know, and just to break it up, you've got the Coles bags just to bring it down to normalcy. So, well seen. I would have cropped it, actually, a little bit from the base. Thank you, judges. We'll go to our next print, please. Backstage at the Perth Fringe Festival. Apo apologies. Perth Fringe World. Female perform 
performer Claire is putting the bits in the right places during her transformation into a male character. Thank you, judges. This print has scored an average of 80 silver award. Well done to the photographer. And we'll grab a quick comment from David. Look, it's just a lot of fun. The fact that he's actually putting sort of some sort of male appendage down there to play a part um, is telling a story. So, you yeah, know, it worked. <laughs> it's brought a few chuckles on the panel as well. Fantastic. Silver award. <laughs> Next print, please. The hotly contested World Championship Tuna Toss is a popular event at the Tanamara Festival. Luke Reynolds shows the winning style in this image hurling the 8 kilogram tuna 17.76 metres. Thank you, judges. That print has scored 77. And could I please have a quick comment from James? Yeah, I think this, it's a great action shot. You know, well, well seen, well captured, well timed. Um, you know, tells the story quite clearly. Um, you know, the obviously broad sunlight isn't working for you know um, a particularly interesting mood and feel, um, but it does the job well. So you know, good strong professional practice. Thanks, James. Next print, please. A father and daughter make spirit hands during a ceremony at a central desert waterhole. Thank you, judges. This one has scored an 83 solid silver award. Uh, sorry, is that a, sorry, you got to put your hand in the air. Is that a challenge? Yes, Victoria is challenging. Okay, Victoria, you may challenge. Let me press the button. There you are. Go for it. Thank you. When this print spun around, the palette is gorgeous, the printing is gorgeous, all the parts, the expression uh, just warms me. I, w I, I had that emotional impact when it turned around. It's beautifully captured, the, you know, the photographer has nailed the shutter speed. It, it's just, I've, I've got my heart in this and I really feel like it's um, worthy for all those reasons of a uh, silver distinction. Okay. Uh, Michael, you're not so sure on 78? No, I think it's nice, but I keep looking at it as a documentary photograph, which is what we're judging, and I think it's a very competent professional picture and, uh, you know, captured the moment, which you're supposed to do as a professional. So I think it's, it's, it's very nicely captured. I just don't think it goes up as... It's, it has that extra edge or extra moment that, that gives it that, that position to give it a higher award. No worries. Uh, Victoria, you do have support. Uh, we've got Christopher here on uh, 86. Thanks. Uh, the winner here, apart from your exquisite printing, I mean, warm shadows, just beautiful to die for, and really give me that open countryside look of um, Northern Territory. But it's actually the, the expression of the daughter, the relationship I'm seeing here is fantastic. Father's concentrating and she's just doing something with Dad and she's loving having that attention. All right, your right reply, Victoria. This this truly is superior visual communication of this relationship, of this culture, um, of the photographer's skill and attributes that they've brought to this image. I I 
please come to us with distinction. All right, judges, if you could please consider the debate. It's currently on 83, so we're not far. Um, and Victoria's on 88. The judges of has got an 84 silver award. Well done, photographer. We'll do a quick uh, judge change. Thank you, Mr. Christopher Ian, for your valuable contribution to that debate. And we'll welcome Simone back onto the panel. And we can please have our next print. Syrian refugees close to the Lebanese-Syrian border carry aid packages from the NGOs. A man is trying to help a young boy with his aid package moments before he falls. Thank you, judges. This print has scored a 77. If we could have a quick comment from James, you're close to the average on 78. Yeah, it's, oh, it's a great, fun little image of, of something, you know, that is, is very real. Um, <laughs> like, you can't help but after hearing the comment, kind of wanting to see <laughs> the, t the box tipsing a little, tipping over a little bit more. Um, but, you know, it's, you know, just real well shot, well seen, good moment, professional standard. Fantastic. Next print, please. Venus Bay, 31st of December 2015. Catherine Ann Smith, drowning vis victim. Responded initially to the helicopter flyover, followed the police onto the beach, victim in the middle distance. Asked to uncover face, confirming identity. Below was the fo final photograph of her alive four hours earlier. Catherine, my beautiful wife. Thank you, judges. This print has scored an 87. And we have a challenge uh, from Simone, who is in the gold range at 92. Simone, you, you do have um, support. You have another photographer in the gold range uh, at 92 and then a variety of other scores. Um, so take it away. Firstly, I appreciate this is a really difficult one to judge because it's extremely emotional, but it's that emotion that's making me want it to be gold. 
and I'm sitting here completely overcome and I'm going to struggle to get the words out. But it was when, when it became obvious that it's the photographer's wife that I realised that the difficulty it must have been in taking these photographs, working on these photographs and pulling them together into a narrative that brings us into their life and what had gone on. I, I, this goal doesn't come from the point of view of being technical excellence. It's not what I'm looking for. It is just pure documentary of one of the most difficult things a human could ever go through. And I'm asking everyone to come up with one. Thanks, Simone. Um, there isn't a dryer in the house, and I understand this, this is very, very difficult. But I'd, I'd like you to take that on board with your judging um, the power of this image. Um, Michael, could you please speak? Look, I think the story is very powerful, um, but I don't find the images very compelling, very strong. Uh, it's, you know, now we know the story, they become compelling and interesting, but I think we have to look at it as visual images and as visual, and I think some of the visuals are quite weak, but generally I think it's strong enough to, I, I would definitely put it into silver, uh, a silver award but I can't see it gold because I still have to judge it, not on the emotion that's going somewhere out there, but what I'm visual, what's in front of me, what I see, and that's the important thing because that's what we're talking about. This is a documentation of a tragic event. So I have to cut, you have to step away from everything else that's around it, like who it is and what it is. Is it telling me the story? And is the story strong enough? Are the image visually taking me in there connecting me to what's going on. So I feel that it's great, but it isn't that great. Um, Victoria, you might have a slightly differing opinion. You're uh, on um, gold at 92, yeah. Yep. Um, it is very hard to judge this. Um, I, I, there is creativity, there is superior, outstanding, remarkable creativity in this purely from a photographer's point of view to go through the process this has been a therapeutic process for this photographer. This is something that they've been driven to do to help themselves through this really challenging time. And I believe that is entirely gold-worthy uh, from that point of view. James, thank you. Yeah, very, very, um, very tricky to talk about um, this with the strength of the emotional content um, it's kind of hard to break it down and, and start talking aesthetics because it kind of seems a little heartless. Um, but what, what I do see and the why it does work and uh, I kind of split the difference and, and you know, gave it a silver distinction uh, because the narrative is, is very clear and it's really raw. Um, I think, you know, trying to uh, shoot this in an aesthetically pleasing way just is, would not be the standpoint of this photographer and the emotion that they were experiencing at the time, you know, documenting this. Um, but there is a there is a tenderness, you know, in that last shot um, that does give that that key indicator, you know, about the marriage, and and then it links it to the the standalone shot, which is a very personal one uh, that really brings it home that it's basically someone documenting their life. Uh, and I think the bravery <laughs> alone should probably be worth the gold, and um, I think it works well as a set. Uh, but, you know, oh, God, yeah, it's pretty full on, so, yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll move up. Thank you, James. Uh, Simone, you're right to reply. I think the thing, uh, as I, the more I look at it, I see the two people in this, uh, the, uh, in this story, the husband who's, um, clearly there's a search going on for his wife, the finding of her, the taking the photo of her hand with a wedding ring on it, and then the, but hang on a minute, she was just here four hours ago and there's a photo to prove it. That's his story as much as her story. And I think that doubles the impact. Thank you, Simone. Judges, if you could please consider the debate and rescore. It's currently on 87. Simone's asking for a gold. Just wait. Try now. And your re re to your score. Thanks, guys.
Thank you, judges, for all your courageousness in judging this with such incredible professionalism. David, did you pre press enter? Just waiting for our final score to come down the pipe. Uh, David, maybe just pop your score in again, if you wouldn't mind. This print has scored by majority a gold at 90. Well done, judges. Uh, and I believe we are going to take a break. I think we need a break. <laughs> it is, in fact, our lunchtime break. Um, this category has gone longer than expected, so we will be continuing with this category in this room after the lunch break. Um, is everyone okay? <laughs>